Hi, I'm Eliza and today we're going to be doing a personality test. This is a guided visualization personality test called the cube. So I have the questions up here. I'm just going to be reading them off my laptop. So you can feel free to close your eyes or keep them open if you prefer and just try your best to visualize the images. So, the first thing, I need you to imagine an open field. Think of an open field. And just try your best to really see this open field in your mind's eye, okay? Once you have imagined it. Then I'm going to ask you some questions. So, how big is this field? Is it big or small? What is inside the field? What is it filled with? And what are the surroundings like? field, I need you to imagine a cube. A cube. A cube. A cube. A cube. Picture a cube inside the field. How big is the cube? Is it big or small? What is it made of? What is the surface like? What color is it? Is it transparent? Where in the field is it? Where is the cube? Is it on the ground? Is it floating? Are you holding it? Can you see inside it? Is there anything inside the cube? Just imagine this cube in the field. Good. Now, I need you to imagine a ladder, a ladder, picture a ladder. How long is this ladder? How high is the ladder? And where is it located in the field? What is the distance between the ladder and the cube? Are they next to each other? Are they touching? Or are they far away in other sides of the field? imagine this ladder. Good. Okay. Now, in your field, you have the cube and the ladder, and you also have some flowers. Flowers. Imagine the flowers. How many flowers are there? Is the field completely filled with flowers, or are there just one or two? And where are the flowers in the field? Are they near to the cube and the ladder? Are they dotted around? Are they near you? Good. Now, I want you to look up at the sky and see what the weather is like. How is the weather in the field? Is it raining? Is it sunny? Is it foggy? What is the weather like? Good. And you're looking at the sky and you see a storm. You see a storm. Where is the storm? Is it far away? Is it just passing through? Is it getting closer to you? Is it right on top of you? What is the distance between the storm and the cube? Is it a big storm? How long do you think the storm will last? So I need you to visualize these things. image in your head. Good. 
Now I'm going to have a look at the interpretations. So, the first thing, the first thing that you imagined was the field, right? So the field represents your mind. Its size is the representation of your knowledge of the world and how vast your personality is. The condition of the field, whether it's dry, grassy, or well-trimmed, is what your personality looks like at first glance. If the field, the condition of the field, if the field is dry and dead, you might be feeling pessimistic. If the field is grassy and healthy, you are optimistic. If it is well cared for, well trimmed, you are analytical and cautious. Okay, the next thing that we imagined was the cube. So the cube represents you. The size of the cube is your ego, whether your ego is big or small. The surface of the cube represents what is visibly observable about your personality, or maybe it is what you want others to think of you. And the texture of the cube represents your nature. Nature. So, if the cube texture was small, was smooth, sorry, smooth, then you are a gentle person who takes care not to hurt others or make them feel uncomfortable. If the cube was rough, had a rough texture, then you are more straightforward, you tend to be honest in everything you say, no matter how it might affect the person that you're talking to. And if the cube is bumpy or spiky, then you have a tendency to criticize others in an attempt to make them feel inferior to you. The color of the cube is a more in-depth analysis of yourself. Each color can represent an emotion or an entire personality altogether. However, these are the most common. If you imagine the cube as red, then you are physically active and enjoy rich sensory experiences. If yellow, you are sociable and cherish your individuality. Blue, you are intelligent and respect others' ideals. Violet, violet, you are intelligent and a bit of a perfectionist. You are also mysterious. Grey, you are self-confident, independent, and not easily rattled. Black, you have a strong sense of individuality and independence, and you put a high value on alone time. White, you are kind, independent, and self-reliant. Some other cube characteristics. In some cases, the physical characteristics of the cube are unique. Unique. A cube with a transparent surface means you tend to let others know how you feel on the inside. You are confident enough to show your inner thoughts and you are deeply sincere. You know that you are good inside and guess what? It shows. That's what most people see in you as well. A cube made out of water or ice indicates that you let external elements influence you completely. Your personality is sensitive to social pressure, relationships, and other environmental factors. A hollow cube means that you are primarily concerned with your outward appearance, with far less care for what's going on within. However, this does not mean that you have nothing to offer on the inside. A cube made out of metal or rock indicates that you have solid integrity. Your 
personality is so strong that it cannot be bent or influenced by any external force. You are dominant and consistent. The next thing that we imagined was the ladder. So the ladder represents two different aspects of your life. Your goals and your friendships. First, let's look at what the ladder says about your goals. So the ladder length, if the ladder was short, then your goals are realistic and simple. If they are long, your goals are more far-fetched and difficult to attain. If the ladder was near, you are putting maximum effort and focus into achieving your goals. And if it is farther away, you aren't putting much thought or effort into achieving your goals. The location and material of, your lad of the ladder can also tell you how close you are with your friends. The closer the ladder is to the cube, and the stronger the ladder is, the better it is for your friendships. If your ladder is near the cube, you are very close with your friends. If it's actually leaning on the cube, it means your friends can lean on you for support. If the ladder is farther away, then you have a hard time opening up to people and letting them get close to you. If the ladder is made of a strong material, for example stone or metal, the stronger the bond with your friends. If the ladder is weaker, a weak ladder may indicate a weaker bond between you and those around you. The next thing is the flowers. Flowers. The, num the flowers represent your family and friends. The number of flowers reflects your popularity, and their location indicates how close you are with your social groups. If there were just a few flowers, then you are close with your family and have a small, tight-knit group of friends. If there are flowers everywhere, then you are a social butterfly. With family and friends too numerous to count, you'll never be lonely. Now, the weather condition. The initial weather condition when you looked up at the sky. The weather in your field reflects your general outlook on life. There's a reason we have expressions like, when it rains, it pours. If you imagined rain, Rain symbolizes the problems in your life. The harder the rain, the bigger the problems. Fog, you feel uncertainty in life and may be struggling with your identity. If you imagined wind, though you tend to worry about future issues, you generally don't let them get you down for too long. If you imagine sun, then you are optimistic. And then we imagined the storm coming in. The strength and position of the storm reflect the stress you're feeling in life. As you probably guessed, the stronger the storm and the closer to the cube, the higher your stress level. If you imagined a storm raging right above your cube, it might be a good idea to work on reducing stress in your daily life. So, if the storm was mild, or just passing through. While you aren't immune to stress, you know that all things must pass. If, it, the strong was, if the storm was strong, or you are in the eye of the storm, when you stress, you go all in and have a very hard time pulling yourself out of the stressful situation. If you imagine the storm in the background, further away, then any obstacles that might be causing you grief are not at the forefront of your mind. You might be good at managing your anxiety. If the storm was right above the cube, then you are deeply affected by stress and have a hard time seeing past it to get back to the bigger picture. I hope you enjoyed it and
and I'm interested to hear if you thought that the results were accurate for you. I think the results were somewhat accurate for me, but also I was swayed because I'm reading it on my laptop and they have pictures of they have a picture of the ladder and a picture of a cube, so I was definitely influenced by that. So I'm interested to hear what your results were when you didn't have the um, the, the, the other influences. Okay. Well, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night, and I will see you a countdown from five, four, three, two,